<clears throat> so they even gonna be the same for the other character at least the main uh, four character what 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 the hell <laughs> i'm frozen to the spot for a good 30 seconds before i can shout after the initial burst though i don't even know what to say yes that was the midnight channel it was as clear as day and i was on it there was no mistake that was me and there was some stupid catchphrase take on to all of us before i know it my cells in my hand and a dialed number hello what the hell was that carnivore who's discarded womanhood crap <laughs> Instant Yasuke picks up, I can restrain myself from venting my anger on him. What the hell was all that about? Seriously, what the hell? Ow, you almost blew out my eardrum. I haven't discarded it. I haven't, you hear me? I eat vegetables too, you know, and I haven't discarded my womanhood. <laughs> all right, all right, just calm down. What was that about? Is that what everyone's been seeing? No wonder that girl got so spooked this afternoon. Yeah, there was a counter for the discarded womanhood in front of her. <laughs> you must have thought I was going to hit her something. Uh, it must have been scarier than the boogeyman. Ah, no, 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 no. There, there, that's a good girl. Calm down. Hey, don't treat me like a rabid animal. <laughs> we'll just think about how I feel. That Captain Rosanti Mont part isn't too cool. Ah, let's ignore that for now. Look, there's something that bothered me about what we just saw. Teddy was in that video, and he looked like he's hosting the whole thing. Huh, really? Plus, he hasn't come home yet. And he's not picking up his cell either. What? Can you call Yukiko? I'll try and contact the others. I'm gonna hang up now, but I'll call back in about 30 minutes, okay? Got it. I hurry up and call Yukiko. She seems badly sticking up too, and her voice is trembling. I was about to try to console her about it, but the reason she was so shaken up with us was a little different. It wasn't because of what was on the Midnight Channel, but a phone call that she received earlier tonight. Huh? Risa chan has gone missing? Yeah, her manager called the Amagi Inn to ask if I knew anything. Could it be related to the Midnight Channel? I don't know about that, but... <sighs> Even though that's what I said, I was convinced otherwise. The Midnight Channel must be related to how Teddy and Rizei Chan have gone missing. I don't have any proof, but think about the timing. There has to be some kind of connection here. In any case, I checked with Yukiko about her, but our meeting tomorrow before I hang up. Better told another troubling tidbit was added when Yasuke called me again. Looks like Kanji's missing too. His mom told me that he was sleeping in the living room, but then he disappeared. Then Teddy, Rize Chan, and Kanji kun. Yeah, this might be serious. I'll see you at the food court tomorrow. I'm glad the TV screen. Of course, since it's turned off, nothing's on them. I don't care about any stupid catchphrase now. I'm just worry about the friends that we can't get in touch with. Please be okay. I didn't manage to get any sleep that night, so I got to the meeting place much earlier than I was supposed to. This is the food court on the Juna's roof. It's where the investigation team usually met. The light clouds from last night have blown away and a nice breeze is passing through the area. Now, what should I wait for everyone? Just when I was convinced that I was the first one here, I see the narrow back of my best friend. Yukiko, you're early! Good morning, TA. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the inn early and came here. Yukiko smiles. Man, she's so pretty as usual. Just seeing her smiles make me feel a little embarrassed. But Yukiko is not just about looks. On top of being trained in attic at the inn, she's elegant and smart. Obviously, she's insanely popular among the guys. There are times when I'm honestly envious of her for having things that I don't. But proud of her, and I'm always happy that she's my friend. A woman's mind is complicated. Yeah, I said it. A woman's mind. I haven't discarded my womanhood, that meant... Um, I actually made a boxed lunch for everyone. Let's eat it together later. Whoa, a boxed lunch? You made it? 
Don't worry, I made sure to taste test it first so it won't be like last year. I think. Well, you've <laughs> got a point. We don't want people to keep calling us poison chefs, do we? Ooh, that does smell really good. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. Hmm, it smells so good. I'm sure it'll be okay. Yukiko really been doing her best lately, after all. As Yukiko blasts shyly, and now these two people answering the food court from behind her. That's Yosuke and Yukon. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. <clears throat> you sound like a dachi, really. Welcome back! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... Huh? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Once you can take a seat, Yasuke clears his throat in an exag exaggerated way and looks all at all of us. Oh, is this going where I think this is going? When I glance at Yukiko, her eyes meet and we can't help but laugh. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. <laughs> but it gets us all hype up. Yosuke smiles to himself and looks at Yukun, but Yukun was about to start clapping along with us. Yosuke just shrugs awkwardly. Everyone's luck at this and the mood lightens considerably. The slight is never changed. Feel like in a brief time, we've completely filled in the last couple of months that we've been away. Like, Yukun never went back to the city. Well, let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. The relaxed air suddenly tinted with Yusuke words. With the Midnight Channel's airing, we all understand what that means. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotokun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here, too. Naotokun seriously seems busy when I talk to her. It would have been reassuring if we had Naotokun here, since she's an amazing detective that even the police asked for her assistance. She has to be doing something really important right now. Um, one thing's been bothering me. The picture on the TV was very clear last night. Think about what came on last night. Yeah, the picture was really clear. There was no static or digital fuzz or anything. I could easily tell who was on it. But isn't that odd? Everyone has the same job I do. You can speak up and ask about the reason behind it. Yeah. Going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? I look over to Yukiko after that. Crap, she's angry. She still has a beautiful smile on, but I can't tell. She's seriously mad. Hey, don't get mad at me. Your nickname wasn't that bad. Least the un... Conquerable Snow Black is still feminine. That's just a joke about Snowy White. I got stuck with the carnivore? Yeah, I know that's not a problem here, but still. What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. You can say the same thing Yasuke said yesterday. Now that's our leader. Even though he's been slapped with some insane level like Sister Conflict Kingpin, he's as calm as ever. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. <clears throat> what if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Well, there is someone who almost fell in like that. I don't remember back when he simply brought off his claim that he could go into a TV. I remember that you had said that he had gotten stuck because his TV screen was so small or something like that. He had been so serious. 
Looks like that was a long time ago. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate them. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. Everyone stand up excitedly, ready to show that we're all prepared. We're headed for the electronic department in Junas. We know that the big screen TV there will allow us to enter the other world. Actually, we could use other TV, but there's no way to know where we end up, so we just stuck with that one TV. Can't feel myself getting more fired up with every step I take. If the friends we couldn't get in touch with have been dragged into something, then I have to rescue them. My fingers are still cold as I curl them into a fist. It's been a while since so I'm nervous. And I'm glad that Yukiko, she doesn't look very enthusiastic either. Yukiko, it'll be alright. You don't need to scrunch up your face. Was I doing that? Yeah, you're gonna give yourself wrinkles. Uh, I'll be more careful. Don't worry, things are different from the way they were last year. We are old pros at this. It brings a small book to Yukiko's face. When I see her relax, my nervousness unravel along with hers. Yeah, we'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be able to save them. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. Huh. I feel like things are picking up around town. Yeah, that's the girl, Utah and You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. Oh, wait! There are still people in this aisle! Hey, get ready! Huh? The customers are going away! Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I love this is a fighting game, but it's really having that story, you know. <laughs> Isn't this different from usual? Oh no! What do we do? What can we do? We can't stop now. I can feel so awful. I just bumped that Persona 5 still not show up on PC. I don't want to play it on PlayStation 3 because, you know, I hope the royal one or the one who have like longer story like the golden version of the fest you know that waiting man and they have the sequel on pc <laughs> i'm not gonna buy it if i don't play the original first mm. uh. wake up and notice that i'm lying on the ground quickly get up and make sure i'm all right okay i don't hurt anywhere it's been a while since i had to enter a tv but there was something different this time there isn't usually the sensation of falling forever. I actually check my surroundings. And I'm all struck. Is this our, our school? That's the gate of Yasogami High School. You should know it. I go there almost every day. Hey, did the TV all turn into some beautiful place when we finished the case? Did it change back? Hey, what do you guys... I turn around, expecting to see my friends nearby, but lo and behold, there's nobody there. Where'd they go? Hey! Is anyone there? I call up. There's no answer. There isn't even a echo. My voice just disappeared, as if the sound is being sucked away. Usually, we come out together when we went in through the same TV. Yukun, Yusuke, Yukiko. Where did they all go? I actually look around, but there's no one. Where is this? I know I'm in the TV world, so what does it look like the Asuga behind? And there's all this weird decoration all over the place. Like the week before the culture festival. Different. Huh? That reminds me, what was on the Midnight Channel? Not the people, but... What was it? The 
He won Grand Prix? Just as I say that, smoke suddenly goes from the side of the big monitor set up near the school gate. Whoa! <coughs> hey! <coughs> what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get our program started! Is that... Risei Chan? A loud cheer accompanying her voice. Where's this coming from? There shouldn't be any people here. I'll look around wildly while Risei Chan's continue on the screen. There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. I, Reset, will be your commentator. But first, the general would like to say a few words. The general. Commentator? General? It seems the time has come. <laughs> I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own V1 Grand Prix. Very. Wait, the general is Teddy? No, Teddy's on the monitor and he dressed all weird. He came here because we were worried that something has happened to him and how stupid this and now the stupid bear up to Sina Sina Nigans. <laughs> hey you! What are you doing? What's all this about? Welcome, Chie Chan! You must now strive to become the champion among all fighters! Champion among all fighters? You don't mean we're gonna fight each other like it said on the Midnight Channel, do you? You're quick to understand. I bet you're already aching to get started, huh? Hey, enough with this sick joke. Everyone's worried about you, you know. I wouldn't know about that. Bring out the first challenger! Oh, cute. The smoke cuts out of the monitor again. And now I see a familiar silhouette. It's Yu Kun. So I'm not alone in here. I rush over to him with relief. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I guess I got separated from everyone else. Anyway, listen, I found Teddy, but he's not making any sense at all. He's telling us to fight against each other. Not making any sense? He laughed slightly at my words and suddenly draw his weapon. What, what, what's wrong? Aren't you going to prepare yourself? The P1 Grand Prix's already started. See my own downfall face reflected in his blade. This is all too sudden. Can I understand what's happening? Prepare myself? Does that mean we're going to fight? I'm going to fight you, Kun. Hey, well, what's gotten into you? Seriously, I can't fight you. Why? Why? You're naturally violent, though. <laughs> That's why you want to become a police officer. So you can be violent on the job. The serving and protecting thing is just a cover. What are you saying? These words are even more of a shock. Is this really Yukon? Look at him over and over again from top of his head to the tips of his tube. But that's him, our leader. I know him anywhere. When I can't say anything or respond to him, he's still coldly at me. You just want to act strong, no? So you don't have to face yourself. The real you is weak. You can't protect anyone. You're so pitiful, it's a struggle to protect yourself. So pitiful. Everything I've been working up over in the past year all come rushing back to me. Before, I want to be strong to protect people who were close to me, but at the same time, I was using that strength as a crutch. I was depending on that power to keep people from seeing my inner weakness. It was a painful truth. It was a painful truth about myself, but I learned it over the course of the class, and I want to turn away from it. But. I'm different now. It's not who I am anymore. So you could would understand that better than anyone. But why is he saying that? Did you always think that about me? Even though you were with me when I faced my shadow? Or did he change when he went back to the city? Did he forget about us? Did the year we spent together not matter anymore to him? I don't get it. It makes no sense at all. Mm, looks like things are heating up. Well then, let's get this show started. You heard her. Face me. Or die. He could slowly raise his hand. 
I know what he's about to do. I've fought along his side for so long. That movement is a persona summoning. Inazaki, Izanagi. A bracer of fire can concentrate my sense for the first time in a while. All up to my inner self. You could be serious, then I have to give this my all too. Come, Tomoe, my persona. If you've forgotten, then I'll make you remember. Here goes. Satanaka versus Yu Narukami. Okay, I'm Machi Laden. Don't expect a good fight from me. I'm pretty good. I don't know what I'm pressing though. <laughs> I don't know how to do in that. Beat Yukun? Maybe, but it doesn't make me happy at all. I'm trying my best to fight back the tears that well up in my eyes. That's when I notice that there are other students gathered around us. No, I take a better look. These aren't students. They aren't even humans. Whatever they are, they are only shaped like people. I was absorbed in the fact that I didn't pay any attention to them. But I finally remember seeing them while we're fighting. What are they? They look like people silhouettes. Could they be shadows? Still, they're not attacking me. Is this some stage of the fact that he's doing? I tried to think about this, but in the end, I'll turn to Yukon, who's down on his knees. It's no use. I can't think of anything to say right now. And even though my mind's a mess, Teddy showed up on the monitor and stopped being a total ass. That was an amazing fight! Good job in defeating Sensei Chie-chan! That's our number one bug! What is this? Really what you want? Why did you make me fight him? Oh, but I'm sure you know why, Chie-chan. Be looking forward to your next opponent! <laughs> The monitor turns up. The students around us seem to have lost interest that leave the area too. What does it mean? I know why we're fighting. Ow. Uh. I almost rushed over to help him stand up, but my feet stopped. I don't know how to deal with what he said earlier. But I need to talk to him, yeah. My mind's still all jumbled, but I have to say something. Um, I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't hold back at all. It must have hurt. But, but come on. Weren't you being a little too hard on me? Yeah, same to you. Although, I kind of get why you'd say that. Huh? He can sounds like he's pointing as he scratches his head. Huh? Wait a second. Shouldn't I be the one pointing right now? Let's sort this out. There's too much going on that we don't understand. Oh, right, right. It sounds calm, like usual, which helped me cool down a bit. Yeah, this is the usual Yukun. But, and why he was talking like that before? I don't know how to deal with that, but he's right. We need to sort out what's going on in here. Uh, first, the TV world reflects people's hearts, right? This time, <coughs> it's turned into Yasugami High. If the same rules as last year apply, then someone related to Yasugami High may have entered here. Then... Where does that get us? I don't know, but we're forced to participate in this Grand Prix and fight one another. That host really was Teddy, and
And Risei Chan's announcing seemed like she was trying to rile us up too. There's no way it can be them. You can sound state of mind. Hearing him talk with such conviction make me feel relieved for some reason. Yeah, it's right. Neither Teddy nor Risei Chan would do this to us. Teddy does harass the girl, and he's always causing trouble as is everything's a game to him. But he protect us with his life when it counts. Risi Chan would choose his friend. She would do everything she can for us. It's impossible that they want to make us fight our friends like this. Have you seen Yosuke and the others? No, not yet. We all <laughs> entered the TV together, too. I see. Let's meet up with the others first. We'll deal with this new mystery after that. Right! Niko is amazing as ever. It's not just as he's always calm and smart, but he helps out and figure out what's most important. Then I start walking to the school together. But... What's wrong? He can suddenly dodge his face and stop for no reason. I wasn't looking beside me. But it sounds like he ran into something. Huh? There's nothing here, right? He slowly raises his hand and walks forward and his arms meet resistant in me there. It's like there's a wall right there, but... I got through okay. I wave my arm through the space where his arm will have stopped. Yeah, it went right through. There's nothing here. But you can see that he looks surprised. What does this mean? While he and I look at each other confused, the mother comes back on. Oops, I'm so forgetful. No matter how much you try, you can't go any further, Sensei. Huh? Actually, no one who loses a match can leave. Only the winner can move on. Those are the rules. Comprende? <laughs> Mari turned off just as suddenly as his turn on. Oh, hey! He's watching us, but he doesn't care to listen to anything we have to say. Isn't that softness? Still, only the winner can move on, huh? That's some goofy plot out of a TV show? I don't know what it is. What in the world does he want from us? I mean, is there something like a wall there? Then. Persona. You can summon his persona and it's left where he couldn't pass through. I was thinking the same thing, but damn, a little heads up would be nice. She'd summon my persona to see if that helped. Wait, I can't touch the wall myself though. After a number of tries, you can exhaust the plan shrug. It's no use. Looks like these rules can't be broken. Then... If I concentrate on attacking a single spot, I may be able to break through. But you can't wait around for that. You'll have to go on without me. It's in your hands now. Huh? You want me to just leave you here? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, so sorry. I'm just nervous. You're better at solving cases than me, so I'm like, can I do this on my own? It really would have been better if I had lost, huh? <laughs> Great. Great. And now that I say it out loud, it's true. I mean, he's so much smaller than me and calmer and stronger. So if you compare him to me, I can't get what he said earlier out of my head. Weak, pitiful person. It's not like you. Weren't you gonna protect everyone? That's when he puts his hand on my shoulder. Look up, and he's smiling like he's trying to cheer me up. Don't worry. Believe in yourself. You can save them. I... Plus, rushing headlong into things is your specialty, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey! That... <laughs> but that's what's best about you, Chie. You're honest and straightforward. I know it's just kidding, but it'll feel better now. And we don't know what Yukiko or Yosuke are doing right now, either. I'll get going then. I'll be back with the rest of the guys to save you. Just remember, you know, when Yukiko is uh, kind of captured by the shadow, he rushes to Yukiko, leaving uh, you and Yosuke behind. And uh, it makes me cry. Good memories. Just wait for us! I'm the only one who can go on, and that is what I have to do. I'm the only one who can do this, so I will do it, because I'm the only one who can, or something. This kind of makes sense. Everything should be that simple. 
Whiplon, last time back to Yukun before running to skill building. 